guys. Uh, you're not going to sit too well here. Um, we're running a bit late. I have a nail appointment at... I was going to cancel it, to be honest, because I really don't need to go. But I figured if I don't go, I like to keep them under control. Like, I don't like them to get too long, so... <clears throat> The mailman's here already. It means we have a different mailman. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Our mail usually doesn't come till 2. So, but they are saying storms, so maybe he's trying to get his foot traffic done first. And I tell you, every day we've had a different mailman lately. But uh, anyway, so I'm off to nails, then I have to go drop off. I got my new prescriptions from my doctor's office yesterday. And because they came later on in the day and we were out all morning, I didn't have a chance to drop them off. There's another mail truck. Because Katie was here, and then by the time Katie left, I couldn't be bothered to go out and do it. So I will go after nails, or depending on how I feel. So I woke up with a bit of a headache today, but the reason being, it's so muggy out, it's gray, and there's threats of storms and all that good stuff. And it's just really, really muggy. So I know that's the reason for the headache. At least it's not migraine, eh? Look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards today. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I, you know, showered, washed my hair, felt nice and fresh for about five minutes. I feel like I could take another shower. Hair's very thick. Little minis all over the place. So I hope everyone had a great Wednesday yesterday. Can't believe it's Thursday. Um, yeah, it's just these days are flying by. It's hard to believe. Change on my father-in-law. I really appreciate you guys checking in and asking about him. He um, was kind of in the same boat. There doesn't seem to be an end in sight as to when and if he'll come out of this rehab center he's in now. Um, his mum was saying yesterday that there's something different going on. I don't know whether he's having more memory lapses, but he seems to think he's just visiting where he's at. I'm not a patient. It makes me sad. I haven't seen him yet because, Pete, like I said, Pete's been going. Sorry, you're rattling. Pete's been going after work because it's kind of on his way home. As you can see, it's very grey. The skies are heavy. So, anyway, I'll see you after nails, guys. Bye. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. It's 20 past seven. I have to apologize. There really has not been a lot of vlogging today. Um, got back, I went to nails and then I went and did all my errands. Got back here around 12 and kind of caught my back funny. So I put my back out. So I've been a bit uh, this afternoon. I also had Katie here and she was extremely feisty today. <laughs> um, unfortunately I had to get in touch with her parents just to kind of let them know what was going on. She calmed down in the end and you know she's very sorry and stuff and she's a good kid she just you know just kind of got a little carried away today and she was having a bit of a bad day. Um, Ash was here with me so that was cool and then you all know I, t I sell Taste Be Simple so I had the live stream going. Um, it's big national conference week. They're all there today, tomorrow, and Saturday. And I think they leave Sunday morning. I don't know if there's anything going on Sunday or if they have breakfast and then they leave. But they have different trainings and all different things. And today they're unveiling their um, spring fall line. Spring fall line? They're not doing that. They're unveiling or debuting, they're calling it debut now I think and it's the fall winter line and I'm so excited this is my favorite season the fall winter time so um, I'm really excited to see what they come out with I've been in the, the live feeds are finished now for the night so all the consultants have gone to taste all the new food and they can shop we've got a new logo the new book has been 
unveiled which we should get our book next week usually they mail it out the weekend and we get it during the week and then I think next week starting on Monday actually I think we can order the new the new line which I'm very excited about because I we all know my spring summer party went by the wayside I had a couple set up and uh, it just didn't work with everybody's schedule so I uh, I'm looking forward to doing my winter one anyway this is one of the new things which is very exciting they really do keep up um, oops that's a bit too close sorry guys but anyway they're coming out with um, it says introducing tastefully simple gluten-free products cinnamon apple cake mix beer bread mix fudgy brownie mix and vanilla bean pound cake mix all gluten-free and all delicious which is huge because there are a lot of people that ask me about that if there are um, gluten-free products if it's gluten-free and, and this and that a lot of people have different allergies and different things so it's kind of cool now that we can actually steer them in the direction of this and say yes undoubtedly this is good for you this is safe go for it um, so I'm very excited to tell one of my friends actually who has to read the ingredients on the back of everything she buys because there's two products that she said she actually I can't remember what they're called now because this was a while ago but she um, before Christmas she was going through the list last year and telling me different things that people can be allergic to that aren't that common so yeah I'm excited so I really don't know what the line is yet I thought we were gonna see actually the unveiling but they're doing it different this time um, which is fair enough these guys all paid to go there I haven't been I knew I couldn't go this close to just getting back from England because we've been really busy with the um, photography business and everything else but um, you know it doesn't stop me being excited and I'm really happy uh, I really love the change of season when they do this and again this is my favorite season with it because I love all the soups and the pot roast kind of things they do so yay hey uh, what else nothing else really been happening today I've um, made a few more appointments our days are filling up pretty quickly we only have about six appointments free on the two days and so I've just added another day and then school starts later this year over here um, they're not starting until I think it's um, I don't want to say the date in case I'm wrong the Tuesday after Labor Day I think it's the 9th and um, they usually start like around the 4th or 5th but it's starting later this year and we have underclassmen I believe on the 12th and 13th or the 13th and 14th the very first week the kids are back in school so that'll be two long days Pete and I and we have two other photographers come with us because when we do the school we have we can have anywhere up to they do three or four classes during gym and we set up in the gym and then the classes all come in we can have anywhere from 90 to 100 and odd kids so um, we like to get them in and out in that one 40 minute period or 39 minute period and they have to have a talk first from this is when they usually do a quick talk from the assistant principal and then they come over to us for pictures so we always uh, hire two other guys to come with us that have been working with us for years and they come in and we knock them out so knock the pictures out not the kids anyway guys it will be short tonight because I am in pain and I do apologize and uh, I'm fine but you know I just don't want to go on and on about absolutely nothing if anything exciting comes up with Taste Be Simple, I know some of you are interested and have asked, asked me about a Taste Be Simple Facebook page. And you are all welcome to join that if you like, um, whether you're in this country or not. Uh, it would be great to have the support if you feel like just checking it out. I have put it on my regular Facebook page. I put the link to my Taste Be Simple page. So I'm going to watch Big Brother. I think that starts at 8, which is in half an hour. When she goes, she's got work tomorrow night. She's going to go hand in some more at the mall that she's working at right now. So she's on a roll with it. And again, thank you guys. I appreciate everybody's uh, support. You've been really sweet with your comments. It's made, made Ashley's day. She's in, you know, 
she said she feels a lot better now because she knows she's actively looking for something else and she said if she could find something part-time she would even stay where she is and have two part-time jobs because at least then she could say no I can't do nights or this and that because she's got another job to be at so good for her she's handling it well she's not about to quit something until she has something else or you know add something else to it because she really wants full-time and I am proud of noticing that she's a good kid she's never given us any trouble She's grown up really quickly. Can't believe she's going to be 21 in March. That's hard to believe. Um, just glad she's still home and still loves spending time with us. <laughs> anyway, guys, on that note, I am going to love and leave you for tonight. I hope everyone's had a wonderful Thursday. And I hope Friday is a good one for you. And the weekend is almost here. And as far as I know, I have nothing planned may go in for some pork pies if it's a nice day on sunday it's pretty stormy tonight but if it brightens up we'll probably do something over the weekend take care guys night can't get rid of me that easy as soon as i took the card out to download it i remembered what i wanted to say elaine well this goes to elaine and my mum. thank you so much for my birthday cards i'm going to prop them up here sorry I really can't lean forward what I got two birthday cards from Elaine. Um, Elaine was pretty bummed. She'd sent them to my mum's house and unfortunately, unfortunately they arrived the day after I left. So I have to thank my mum too. Mum put them immediately into an envelope. She didn't open Elaine's envelope because she wasn't sure. She didn't want to touch it. So she took Elaine's envelope and put it in another envelope <laughs> and mailed them to me. So they came today and Elaine, these cheered me up no end. I love the funny one you sent. It made me laugh. And then this one you said was my real one. And just what you wrote in it was so sweet. And I really appreciate it. And I feel exactly the same. Um, we really do make good friends on here. And I do consider you a good friend. And uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the lovely note. That was so sweet. And I'm going to keep these. I did bring all my cards back from England that um, I had while I was over there. Because 50 is a big one. And I got some really, really nice cards. And I don't want to throw them away. So I'm going to put these all together. And um, I have my thank you cards, which I have to get writing. And get those out before people think I am ungrateful. Well, I know you don't, because I know I saw everybody and said thank you, but I really do appreciate all your kind thoughts and the cards and everything. And Stacy, that reminds me, I never thanked you for yours either. I got your card when we got back from England, and I have it with all my other ones, and uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, my eyes are sticking together. <laughs> I'm like, ugh. Looks like I've had a drink or something. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for all the kind comments the support on the channel your subscriptions to our channel the fact that you all subscribe is so sweet and you watch us daily and make comments it makes my day every single day it's the first thing i do when i get online in the morning is go check out comments and try and respond to everybody because i figure you all take the time to write me a comment i sure as heck should be responding to those so thank you again thanks everybody and uh, now have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow, which is Friday. Bye, guys.